on our Canadian tour is Astonishing Ottawa. Here our happy travelers are met and greeted by a group of islanders from the South Pacific. They wish them well and send them on their way. Astonishing Ottawa is located almost entirely in Canada, except for a portion which dangles over into Minnesota and has to be tucked back in all the time. Upon entering Ottawa, the currency must be exchanged, so our friends look for a place where they can do it. American currency is currently valued at 600 flakes to the dollar, and our friends receive their finances for their trip. Little do our travelers know that a chance breeze is going to come by and will blow the vacation budget all over the streets. But don't worry, it's only a dollar. <laughs> On the road, and a quick trip to one of astonishing Ottawa's most astonishing moments. It's the astonishing monument the pieces du lizard orable, our petrified dinosaur dung. Our travelers take a nature walk. Oh, Billy, come back here. Break your neck. Get up. Excuse us. Billy, come on. Whoop. Excuse me. the next reading for the prophet of St. Billy. St. Billy is 154 years old. Uh oh my goodness, he fell on the ground. St. <laughs> Billy reads all about the legend of St. Billy and the goats. On January 23rd, 1975, one of the modern festivities is the annual Miss Goat Contest. Girls come from all over Ottawa to compete in this fine event. Here they are in their swimming suits. What an eyeful. This year's winner is Laura Lee Smith. She receives her coat and her horns. The members of the St. Billy Society grab their staff from the magic trunk. These sacred staffs are 125 years old. And there they symbolically drive her to a symbolic shed where she is symbolically kept until next year. Dragging, one of Ottawa's most astonishing at pastimes. On to the Indian rides. Yes, for only a dollar, you can ride a real, authentic Canadian Indian. These are authentic Indians, not cheap plastic or rubber kinds that you might see in the store. Do you want to go faster? Well, hang on tight and enjoy the new giant Indian ride. Look, it's the hay eating competition. This contest was once a sport for manhood, but is now only done for the nutritious value. People think of music, they think of Ottawa. And why not? Ottawa is the home of chair dancing. Next on our Canadian tour, Saskatchewan, province of self-pity. Here our happy travelers are met by members of the Wazuzu tribe. 
what you want. Provincial hobby is suffocation. Here we see the annual Saskatchewan Run for the Dead. Runners gather from all over the province to compete in this fine event, which is held every year. Unfortunately, no medals are given to the winners. Suffocation enters into every facet of the Saskatchewan's life. Here we see its mark on arts. 